Alright, hello and welcome everybody. It is Parks again. So today in this video, I wanted to go ahead and kind of go over treasure trove farming and basically what treasure trove farming is. So let's go ahead and jump right on into this really fast. So treasure troves in Grimdon are basically these chests that contain lots of loot. Mainly so, low level recipes. I want to say components slash rare components. They do have a bit of bits, but I don't really think it's very good to farm them for bits. If you're early in the game, then it's kind of okay. Um, they're also very good if you're doing reputation farming. You can include the treasure troves on your reputation farming to make it more bountiful. It's also not too bad, depending on the locations you decide to go for, for, uh, for nemesis farming. Uh, nemesis bosses also drop recipes, so doing both of them at the same time is very good. And another thing, it's just one of the other cool things to do in Grim Dawn if you don't just want to sit in Shattered Realm or, you know, dungeons all day. So, uh, with that being said, let's go ahead and start. I'm going to show you this little list, and just like before, I will have this posted in the comments. Uh, basically, uh, this is mainly going to go over the expansion content, since in my opinion, they have some of the better ones. So, for Act 2, we have Dead Man's Gulch. Uh, then for uh, uh, Malmoth and, and Friends, we're going to be doing these four. And then the uh, Forgotten Gods is going to be here. So that being said, it's going to be super easy. Uh, basically, what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to be pulling up the maps for them as I'm running them. Uh, and then I'm going to show you guys the rotation. So here we go. We're going to start with the Dead Man's Gulch. Okay. So Dead Man's Gulch is a super easy one. We're just going to go to the Dead Man's Gulch Rift. And now one thing to note is treasure troves do have multiple spawn locations and because of these multiple spawn locations um, certain ones are not as good as others unless of course you're trying to farm reputation and nemesis bosses in which case they become a lot stronger right or not stronger but a lot better i guess you could say so this one's got three locations so what i like to do is i personally like to try to find like cover this one and then i go up the ramp because the ramp has two uh locations that it could spawn so I'm just going to walk up here like this, check to see if the treasure trove is here. It's actually here, uh, but I'm going to go ahead and show you the rest of the rotation anyway. So that was like a 12,000 bit. Ah, oh, here we go. I actually got a recipe. No way. It's, I actually didn't think that was going to happen, but hey, we got a recipe. And this is actually really good because it's for a poison. Our next build might actually be poison. So then I like to walk up, down here. Up, down, what? <laughs> I like to walk around here and check over here. Now, one thing about this as well is this is going to uh, contain a lot of hero mobs uh, and a lot of elites. So that's one nice thing as well. You may find some legendaries along the way. YouTuber luck. Yeah, I just want to state that before making this video, I opened about 22 treasure troves and found zero recipes. Uh, but at the same time, I have most of the shit recipes out of the way. So after doing that, uh, there's only one more spawn location, which is on this right-hand side here. Um, to get there, you're basically just going to go up and, you know, a little bit around to the right. Depending on your layout, it may be a little bit different because of these rocks everywhere. Um, I'm just going to go sneak up and go to the right. And I think it would be right here is the last location i think actually i think it's there so i kind of fucked up a bit but it's okay all right so that one's done so the next one we're gonna go to is actually gonna be the barrel home or sorry gloomwald make sure you go to gloomwald crossing and not actually gloomwald um just so you don't get confused scuffed guide so this is going to be a big rotation here. There's going to be a lot of hero mobs to kill. If you don't care about the hero mobs, you know, just skip this part of it. So we like to poke ourselves into the cellar door here. There is a chance that a purple guy spawns on the right directly over here. If there's no purple guy, then we'll find him later, so no problem. Okay. So now from here, what we're going to do is we are actually going to go all the way over to the right. So down over on this side. And trapped. 
and trap. Petra, fight. Okay, the next spawn could have been right here, but it wasn't there, so that's no problem. So what we're going to do now is we're actually going to make our way over to the right. This is where the next shrine, or sorry, no, next treasure trip spawn could be, is right here. It is not there. Can this be used in all difficulties? That is a good question, actually. I've never tried checking. I think so. But don't quote me on that. So we're going to go inside the cellar. Now inside the cellar, this is when we open up the decrepit cellar over here. Now for decrepit cellar, there's going to be two spawn locations only for its trove. So that's really nice. Uh, what I like to do is walk up this ramp. Because if you don't walk up the ramp, you're going to have to like walk back around, I think. Unless maybe you can walk underneath it. don't know exactly. And here's the purple that we did not see last time. We spawned inside here. Okay, so the first treasure trove spawn, actually, did I miss it? Let me make sure. I think I may have actually missed it. I wasn't paying attention. No, I think the first treasure trove spawn is here, but it's not there. Yeah, you, you actually cannot walk underneath it. Thank you for the confirmation. Okay, the next one is going to be in the corner. Right over here. And for sure, we get a treasure trove right here. Giga boom. And then now we need to go up the ramp so that we can leave. And we get bopped outside. From outside, you want to make sure you go back to your Gloomwald crossing map. We are going to exit now on this right hand side here. So now one thing to state is there is a quest boss that I don't have unlocked. Uh, but the quest boss I do believe spawns up inside this location. So what we're going to do now is since our treasure trove didn't spawn in the previous locations. We're just going to take the longer route. Uh, of course if it did spawn you don't have to take this route. So we're just going to go up here. Got two more heroes, so that's pretty nice. And then we're going to take... Basically, an easy way to remember is at the fork. You just go down. And our treasure trove is going to be right here. Okay, so the next ones that we're going to go take is going to be the Lone Watch. Now, you can do this from the Malmoth outskirts, and I think it may be better, but just for the sake of not fucking the video up, I just want to do what I'm used to. Now, this one's a bit intimidating because there are many spawns. This has actually so far been my favorite one, even though this one takes a bit longer. This one has proven to have the most heroes slash elites and can fit in a nemesis spawn quite reliably this nemesis boss is a pain in the ass though i'm not gonna lie you guys will enjoy watching me struggle since i know most of the time you just make fun of me because i walk and things die okay so i'm gonna go ahead and pull this one up so we can just see it together so this one, if you look at it, has a ton of different locations. So basically, 
Um, and this is not the most efficient, but I like to walk up here, check these three, go to the right, check these two, and then come back. So that's kind of what I do. Koopa Cabra has three spawn points on the Gloomwall ground. That's very nice. Okay, so we're coming up to our first check, which is going to be right here. Nothing here. Second check here. Okay, got it. Nice. Pop it up. Belgothian's armor. Just for the sake of the video, I'm not really going to extend it longer, but... Uh, actually, I will extend it because um, over here on the right could be the could be the Cinder Waste spawn, which is the next location we're going to. Uh, it could be up at the top, so it's okay. So the next the next one I would look at is this little square here. It could be oh, two heroes, nice. I need Malmoth resistance, so this place is really good for me. That's kind of why I want to start running it from the top side and then run south, because I need Malmoth. So, it would be there, but we're not checking there because we don't need it. Uh, this is where the Cinder Waste Portal could spawn on one of the locations. So next we're going to go back left and we're going to go directly into the middle. Which I think is here. Is it this one? Yeah, okay. So that's the Cinder Wastes portal, uh, which means we are in the middle. Okay. Just to check and confirm, I'm just going to walk over to the left here because it could be a boss spawn. Nope. I'm going to go back up. Check these other two locations. Not over here. And then there would be one more up here. Okay. So we're good. So we're going to go back down. And also, Cinder Waste Portal could spawn right here. That's actually most commonly where it spawns for me. I think it was here spawned, right? Yep. Alright, so from here, we're going to close out of our Morndale, and we're now in Cinder Wastes. So, from Cinder Wastes, there's a couple of really good things to do. I like almost full exploring because there's a lot of juicy guys in here. One and two. Okay, we're gonna go down here to the left, and we got a nemesis spawn. So this may. Okay, this boss is very mad. As you can see, my minions have uh, 70 to 90k HP. They died. Okay. Come on, Mister. Can you please come this way? Can you can you not put the pulls on? The... Hey, hey, buddy. Okay, there we go. Ow. Ow again. The big thing about this guy is he has these fumble pools, which give anyone that's standing in it like a 70% chance to miss. And since I have, you know, pets, and it's like spawns on the pets, basically fucks over pet builds. <laughs> But it'll be a lot better. Oh, he just procced my second wind, which means I could have actually died right there. I think that's his death. Get him, pets. 
Get him. Get him, boys. Get him. Good shit. Chthonian Warrant. Fucking worth. Alright, from over here, we're gonna boom the treasure trove. We are going to collect our nemesis loot. I'll just move away so you guys can see everything in it. There's a legendary off of him, along with a mythical recipe. Very nice. I don't want to accidentally click that. So from here, we are going to... Actually, we don't need to go this way. Well, I guess I can. It doesn't matter too much. It just save a little bit of time if I went the other way. Here we go. Here's one of the purples that we're looking for. Oopsies, one sec. Okay. Uh, up here is another treasure trove spawn. There's also a treasure trove spawn in the top right, and then this guy is always here. Once I've killed those two, uh, I usually just move on. You can, you know, choose to explore if you want to. So, this next part doesn't have a neme or a trove spawn, but if you did not find your nemesis boss and you are looking for them actively, uh, there's a good chance that they spawn in here. I've gotten them both times in here. The third time, which is this time now for you to be spawned outside, there's a guaranteed purple right up there. What's this? Mr. Purple, Mr. Purple! Oh. That skill's not ready. There we go. Alright, so from here, we are now going to move into the Forgotten Gods content. So, from the Forgotten Gods, we're going to go to Corvon City. Corvon City is which one? Corvon City. From Corvon City, we are going to be going south into the tomb. Which is right here. Any rares? Nope. Okay. In we go. This place is very nice and quick. Uh, if we were to open this and pull up the Corvon City. There's only three locations for it. And it's literally like super quick. Also a desecrated shrine and a exalted chest inside here. So spawn location number one. Also this place is pretty solid for rep just because there's so many units. They all die pretty quickly. Location number one would be here. We don't have it here. So let's move. Actually I feel like hitting that. Wow nice to beat. Let's go check bottom right over here. There it is. And then the last one would just be up here. That skill's not ready. Right here. Okay, so from here, we are then going to go to the Infernal Wastes. Infernal Wastes is another nice one. So on Infernal Waste, there's actually a 
66% chance you get a purple boss spawn. Right here is where you may encounter Ice Doge number one. There we go. Beautiful. Um, um, I stood on ice. Hey, revered with all of the new guys. How is it still going? He's dead. Mythical damnation. Okay, so from here, what we're gonna go do? Let me just pull it up. Ba -doop -ba -doop. We are going to immediately go right and check this corner. There's a treasure trove spawn. I think it's right up here. Yeah, perfect. Boom. Very nice. Butcher of B -b 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 Witch. From here, what I like to do is if you didn't get the purple guy spawn there, uh, check this bottom side because there's a chance that he can spawn right down here as well. From there, we're just gonna move across. There is a chance that the treasure trove spawns in that little pocket right there. If it does not spawn in this little pocket over here, then there's only one more location to go to and then your run is pretty much complete. Down here, you just take the little skinny road. You have reached Nemesis with Eldritch Horrors. New nemesis spawn. And then the treasure trove is like right here where this little crate would be. Anyway, that pretty much is about it. So I hope you guys had a wonderful time. Hope you guys enjoyed yourselves. I hope you guys can go start treasure troving and finding some recipes. Again, a big purpose of this, a lot of people care too much about efficiency. I play video games for fun. I want to let you guys know multiple things that you can do in Grim Dawn when you get bored, you know? If you're bored of Skeleton Key Dungeons, you can go do Treasure Troves. If you don't want to do Treasure Troves, you can go do, uh, you can go do uh, Shattered Realm. If you don't feel like doing Shattered Realm, you can do Crucible. If you don't feel like doing that, you can make a new character. If you don't feel like making a new character, you can play a different game. Uh, but not, you know, you know what I mean. So anyway, though, that's pretty much about it. Hope you guys had a wonderful time. Hope you guys enjoyed yourselves. If you did, please feel free to like, share, and subscribe. And remember, if you have any questions, you can always check me out at twitch.tv slash pox. I think I said that twice. I'm a little tired today. Um, also, one more thing is if you guys have any requested videos for Grim Dawn that you'd like, feel free to put them in the comments below. But please don't ask me to, you know, request guides specifically of builds because unless I've played the build, I will not be creating a guide for it because it doesn't really work that way. And since chat is making me do this, there's also a chest that you can get right over here. That you can pop. And maybe you get a legendary. Get a legendary. There's no peer pressure, man. Take care. Have a wonderful time, everybody.